Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks as always for joining in. It's no fun on my own here, so I'm glad to have some company. Ten hands uh, at, for skybridgeclub.com and it's just the hands that everyone's playing today. Away we go. Pass, one no trump, and today I'm set up for Akol, so that one no trump's 12 to 14, makes no difference to me, I'm just passing. And that's where we finish. So my lead. Well, I've got four choices. My clubs is clubs are the best suit, but I'm inclined to just not super keen about leading a club. I kind of want to get those clubs led to me, to be honest. I don't mind a diamond lead, but a diamond lead is I kind of. I, if I had Queen Jack 10 or Queen Jack 9, I don't mind the Queen of Diamonds lead. Small Diamond might be okay. It might be a time to go for a passive lead, a safe lead, and just wait for our tricks to come to us. So that would be reasonable as well. It might be okay to lead a heart or a spade. Um, anything could be right here. I know it seems strange to be leading a short suit here, hearts or spades. But, you know, maybe I should just wait for my tricks here. So uh, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to try just going for that passive lead and, and wait for my tricks in the minor suits. Might, might work, might not. So spade or a heart, I'll go for my longest. I'll go for the heart. I'm going to lead the high heart, um, not a low one. I want to lead a high one so partner doesn't think I've got hearts. Well, interesting. Okay. Now, that's, um, let's just think what happened there on that first trick. 7, 3, 10, ace. So, you know, maybe North has figured out my high heart lead wasn't low from an honour. So North has worked out that East has perhaps got the hearts, maybe King, Queen, Jack, 10 of hearts or something, I don't know. So well done, North, there for switching. Uh, North's done quite well here. I quite like that club switch because Declare was going to make the king of clubs sometime anyway. So this is helping set our club tricks up. I know it looks a little bit odd, but I like this play. Two, three, five. Where's the four of clubs? Don't know where the four of clubs is yet. Well, I'm glad I didn't leave a spade. Diamond, there we go. That's good, good, good. Well, I'm, I'm super glad I didn't leave a diamond. Now, what's going on in the club suit? North led the small club. Has North got a four-card club suit, maybe? I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to take that diamond while I can. And West has switched to a club. Ooh. East has switched to a club. Mm. Let's see if we can figure out the points here. We know East had Ace, King of Diamonds. King of Hearts. I think North's got the Queen of Clubs. Because East has had ace king of diamonds. We know East has got the king of hearts. Because North played the ace of hearts on the first trick. And I suspect North's got something else in hearts as well. I think North's got queen third of clubs. So I reckon if I play a small club, North will win the queen and play a club back to me. Well, soon the club back to me, I hope. There you go. Look at that. Well done, North. Well done, North. Okay, that's a very, that's very nice. That's well done, North. Very good. All right. So one, North has recognised that my seven of hearts lead meant that East had the heart. So well done. Um, North's played a club back. Now, I could have led a club myself. It would have worked out the same. But um, that's 
fine. I'm glad I didn't leave a diamond um, because that would have just helped East there. So anyway, interesting hand. Um, I would say I'm going to give full credit to North there for for um, not returning the hearts and switching to a club. Interesting hand. All right, hand two. Six, seven high card points. Nothing to do here. We're vulnerable. Uh, diamond, pass, spade, pass. That's an easy pass. Diamond, spade, and no trump. Three no trumps. Pass, pass, pass. North's going to lead a club or a heart. Club, fine. Why did I say a club or a heart? Because it's West has bid diamonds and spades. So um, just the diamonds and spades. Okay, well, this time there's no reason not to return a heart, a club at least. I will return North's club suit because it looks like North started with a four card club suit. So we can establish the clubs here. What's West got? West must have a bunch of diamonds. West could easily have hearts here as well. West but a diamond. West might have four diamonds and four hearts, maybe something like that. So I'm not keen on switching to a heart. Let's just play the clubs back. Now our clubs are set up. So we've got two club tricks if, if we can get the lead. I can afford to throw one heart. I'm not, not loving throwing a spade. Probably makes no difference. I don't think it's going to make any difference what I do here. I guess I can. I'm just going to throw a heart. Ten, check. Now hopefully here come our club tricks. Ten. Now, who do, what we've got to decide is after this, after we've taken our club tricks, what's going to happen next? So should I win the jack of clubs and play a heart through now? Or should I wait, just let North play another club and then play a heart? I think I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to play low here. North's going to play another club. And now I can switch to a heart. No difference. Yeah, okay, so that's all. It's not going to make any difference. Okay, pretty, all pretty normal. Um, yeah, good lead from north. Um, all just normal and in fact west did there you go west had three hearts five diamonds and three hearts so um, that's all pretty normal good one all right hand three oh that's the fun looking hand who's played this hand Who's played this hand and who's not played this hand? I just I, I should say too, just a reminder if you are watching, remember the first hand at skybridgeclub.com is free every day. To play hands two onwards, you need um, you need um, you know a subscription, but that's basically how it works. But these are just the same hands that everybody plays today. Who you guys watching, who's played these hands yet? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Me, that's a bit strong to open three spades, so I'm just going to open this one spade. You may be wondering why not preempt. Well, seven, eight, nine, ten high card points, and to me, that's just that's more like an opening hand rather than a preempt. If I didn't have the ace of clubs or the jack of diamonds or the jack of hearts, I'd open three spades, but it, to me, that's just too strong. Hmm, interesting. Right, this is an interesting one. So West, North, 
North's got a decent hand. North's got probably nine or ten points because he's been a new suit at the two level. And East and West have been clubs showing at least eight clubs between them, probably more. So North's going to have two clubs at the most and probably one. Um, actually, I quite like my hand. I, I like the fact that I've got three clubs because North's going to be short in clubs, hopefully. I quite like my Jack Eight of Diamonds, given that North bid, has bid two diamonds. That Jack Eight of Diamonds could be helpful. And I kind of like my speed suit, so I'm going to get, I'm going to rock and roll. Party, 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 and I'm just going to bid four spades. Two spades is probably the right thing to do, but I'm not into the right thing. Oh, oh, oh. whoops, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> okay, if this goes down, this is my fault. Two, two spades, three spades would have been enough. So my, my mistake, maybe. We're going to make probably because I can throw my one of my diamonds away. So actually, we, we're good. I like it. Um, this has worked well. Let me think for a second. While I'm thinking, I'm just looking. Everybody, we're all over the place, aren't we? P Peter, good morning, and good morning. Terence, very early morning. Sunil, Dawn, good evening. Shannon, good evening. Uh, Great to have everybody just from all over. It's really nice. Okay, so we got, I'm going to have to rough one club. That's all I need to rough. And I can throw my diamond away on the heart. So I can three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I can afford to draw, I can actually afford to draw both trumps. Yeah, so there's one trump left. I, I can just draw that last trump now just to be safe. And I can play. There's not much chance that I'm going to make all 13, but I am going to play the hearts now rather than rough the club because just suppose the queen and ten of hearts fall, that might make my nine good. So I'm going to play the jack, ace. I don't think this is going to work, but you never know. Throw it. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe. If I play the four of hearts now and, and rough, and if West plays the queen, if West has got no hearts left, my nine of hearts will be set up. Fingers crossed. Look at that. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Actually, I'll tell you a story while I'm thinking, because it's pretty easy now, but I'll tell you a kind of story. When I go to the coffee shop every day, um, they, they sometimes... Give me a number, and whatever number it is, doesn't matter what it is. Today's today they get the table number they gave me was fifteen, and my joke it's a stupid joke. I always say it all the time. It's not really very funny. It's my thing, but I always say, oh, whatever number they give me, I always say, oh my, that's my lucky number. And today's number was fifteen, and they all they said, oh, that's an unusual lucky number. And I just, you know, it's always been lucky for me. But I say that whatever number I get, and it makes everyone kind of happy, I suppose. So the nice girl at the coffee shop gave that and said, well, I hope you get good luck today as well. And she won't be watching this, but I got a bit of good luck. Number 15 gave me a bit of luck today. So thank you, um, coffee people. We'll take it. People, people serving in coffee shops, there are, I know I'm off topic here, but they make our day, don't they? If you go to a good cafe, you get nice coffee and a nice, a friendly person bringing you your coffee, that's about as good a day as you can, that's about as best hour as you can spend, I reckon. One no Trump, um, two no Trumps, so that's pass. And Sunil, good afternoon in, in India. Well, good afternoon, Sunil. Okay, one no Trump, two no Trumps, that's an easy pass. Three no Trumps, so that's a pass. One no Trump, two no Trump, three no Trumps. So it looks kind of boring, but 
just sitting here defending, we, we've got some information here. Now, that one of Trump showed 12 to 14 points because I'm playing Akol and these for two no Trumps. We're going to see dummy in a second anyway, so that's fine. We're not going to see the West hand because West is the clearer, but we've got a little bit of extra information now when we're defending. West does not have 12 to 14 points anymore because West accepted the invitation to gain. So we know that West has now got 13 or 14 points. Big deal? Maybe, maybe that's just going to give us the bit of extra information that we need. So West has got 13 or 14. Uh, East started with 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So East and West have got 24, 25 between them. Our side has got 15 or 16. I've got 9, 10, 11. So North has got four or five points. Good. North has got four or five points. Where are those points? They could be hearts. Uh, could be ace of clubs. Could be ace of clubs, ace of diamonds. Not really sure. Um, we do know that West has got the Queen of Spades. How do we know? Because now remember on that, I think it was the first hand when I led the seven of hearts. My hearts weren't very good, so I led a high one. Um, you know, low promises and honor, but a high one is saying. If you lead a high card, not an honor, but a sort of seven or eight or something, you're saying, I've got I've got some cards in the suit, but they're not very good. And that's what North has done here. So North's eight of spades, it can't be fourth highest because we can see the ace, king, jack, ten, nine. North can't have the queen of spades. So North is leading a spade to tell me he's got some spades, but they're not very good. Now, clearly, I'm going to win the king here. Maybe North has got a four-card spade suit. You know, North could be four, three, three, three shape and just leading his long suit, but it's not very good. Maybe North's got a five-card spade suit, but not a very good spade suit. Don't know. So either way, there's not much point in returning a spade here. Um, because even if North has got a five-card suit, we're never going to be able to establish that suit. If I leave a spade back, there's no way North's going to get the lead twice, once to knock out the other spade and to regain the lead, even if he has got a five-card spade suit. So I'm just going to play the King of Hearts. Oh. Now, may, I think North's probably got the Ace of Hearts. We might have struck gold here. West could be ducking. I'm going to play the Queen, and I hope, if North's got the Ace Doubleton left, I really hope that North knows to overtake. If North's only got, if North does have the Ace of Hearts and one more heart, when I play the Queen, North should overtake and then play a heart back to me. So I should do that. Now I could play the eight of hearts just to be sure North takes the ace and then plays a heart back to me. That would be okay. But maybe North doesn't have the ace. Maybe West has got the ace of hearts. All right. So have a think about this. What would you guys do in this situation? Would you play? We can... North is, we still don't know who's got the ace of hearts. So we could play low to North's ace and let him play a low one back. We could play the queen and hope that North knows to overtake the ace and return a heart to me. But of course, West still might have the, um, West still might have the ace of hearts. So we really should play the queen here. And we just hope, oh, well, West had the Ace of Hearts. So that's a very good play from West. Computer's doing well today. Um, West ducked those first two hearts 
to break the communication between North and South because now North's got no hearts left. So well done, West. The reason West ducks that heart twice is that he's he wants to, um, excuse me, break our communication. Now, because North's got no hearts left, because we're stuck twice, if North wins the lead, he's got no hearts to get back to me. Okay, so, but North does have something. We don't know what it is. I'm going to play a club. I'm really hoping I get in with a diamond. Oh, looking promising. Um, I can... Uh, well, I can. I guess I can play a club here. I'm not. I don't think I'm going to duck that diamond anyway if I win. So I'm just going to play. Oh, black club. All right. So, um, gosh, North must have. North didn't have much. North must have the whatever diamond is, that is left. Jack of diamonds, yeah. Okay, good. The reason I said North must have the jack of diamonds there at the end, because you remember right at the start, I was saying North has got four or five points, and North didn't have any aces, but North did have the queen jack of clubs. And North had nothing in spades, nothing in hearts. Uh, um, West had the ace of clubs and East had the king. So North had the queen jack of clubs. That's three points. North's last remaining diamond could only be the jack of diamonds to make up the four points that he that he had to have. Uh, chances are West had the ace of hearts. Yeah, you're quite right. Um, Sunil West probably has the Ace of Hearts. It was possible that North had the Ace of Hearts, but yeah. Anyway, that was that was good. Um, I was a bit nervous. I was a bit nervous because you know North does his best and East and West, but they're just computers. And bridge is hard. Bridge is hard for us humans, and it's also hard for the computer, and the computer makes lots of mistakes, I know, just like all of us. It's just, it's life. Uh, 10, 16. So, right, one spade here. I'm just changing the suit um, because I'm, I know I've got a strong hand, so it seems like maybe I should do something bigger than better than one speed, but um, I don't have to do anything crazy because when I change the suit, one diamond, one speed, because I'm a responder and I've changed the suit, north has to bid again. So by keeping the bidding low, I give north room to do anything he wants to do, and that gives us a bit more space, a bit more room to find out about each other's hands. So, and North's got five diamonds and four clubs. Um, you know, probably three no trumps is the right spot. With King, King Doubleton of Hearts, um, I'm happy to bid three no trumps here because if West leads a heart, which he probably will, then the lead's coming around to my king. Now, um, hi, Diana from Scotland. Scotland. Uh, Scotland, awesome. I actually spent a very happy little time in Scotland in my tent for a few, well, I don't know, maybe a month. Fourth suit, four sin, Jerry. What, you, what are you always, what do you guys reckon on this one? F to, hang on, F, oh, F, S, F. Fourth suit, for, Jerry's saying fourth suit forcing. So three and a trumps I could bid. Jerry's suggesting another option, fourth suit forcing, which is one diamond, one spade, two clubs, two hearts. Um, that's the fourth suit. Two hearts would be the one, two, three, fourth suit. Diamond, spades, clubs, hearts. That's the fourth suit. And the fourth suit is forcing. 
doesn't necessarily show hearts. It um, just forces North to bid again, and, and David's saying the same thing. Good, yep. And that just gives North a bit more room to... We find out more information about North's hand. So fourth suit forcing would be a perfectly good choice on this hand. Um, so yeah, I, I agree. Fourth suit forcing is fine. I, I'm actually just going to do three no trumps because why not? Ha! I should have been fourth suit forcing. <laughs> you were right. You guys were right. We've I've actually wrong sided. I thought I was right siding this, but because North had Queen Ten of Hearts, we've wrong sided it. Now this is this is actually this is quite interesting. Notice that if North did not have the Ten of Hearts, if North had Queen Five Two of Hearts, then it's definitely better for me to be the declarer because the lead comes round to my king and I'm still going to have Queen Doubleton left on the table. Which is kind of, to be honest, that's why I wanted a bit three no trumps, just in case North had something like Queen Third of Hearts. But because North had the Ten of Hearts, then it would actually would have worked out better if North had been the declarer because the lead would be coming round to Queen Ten of Hearts. So, the, you guys who wanted to bid the fourth suit there, you did better than me. Um, anyway, I, we're probably going to be okay. I mean, I can play the ten of hearts here. West has probably got one of the honours. So, I can play the ten here, which is either going to win or maybe lose to the ace. If it loses to the jack, probably West has got the other missing honour. Ace, okay. There you go. So we're we're all fine. Uh, what have we got? We're going to make the rest of the tricks. We've underbid. To be honest, I underbid. Yeah, we got the rest. Now I'm just uh, I'm going to I am going to make the rest of the tricks, but I've got to be slightly careful with the diamond suit. Have a look at that diamond suit and tell me the correct way to play the diamonds. It's because there's very definitely an absolute optimum way to play the diamond suit. So have a think about that for a second while I tell you my Scotland story for Diana. So I was playing rubber bridge in England for a while and I could, this is a gosh, when I was, I don't know, 30 or something, long time ago. I was playing rubber bridge in England and I could win just enough money every week, just enough to barely survive. Um, but there wasn't much spare. There was not a lot spare. But it was good fun for a while. And eventually I, I just got, it was just, enough was enough. So I, I um, bought a tent with my last remaining money I bought a tent and I went up and I stayed in Scotland by a nice lake and uh, it was really great I enjoyed my Scotland trip yes Sunil um very good Barry we got to play the ace first Sunil we got to play the ace first um we got to go up to north David you're quite right because the diamond suit might break badly one player might have a four card diamond suit so if I play over to the ace, I'm going to just win that ace of spades there. Draw a club. If I play the ace, if somebody shows out on the first round of diamonds, I can finesse in either direction to guarantee six diamond tricks. Okay, no problem. Diamonds break. So I can just run the diamonds now. But if east had shown out, I could have won the queen and then finessed west for the jack of diamonds. And if West had shown out, I could have won the ace and then finessed back towards the queen nine. But there's no problem now. So let's just make sure I'm not going to mess this up. I'm just going to play the king of hearts just to unblock that heart suit. King of clubs, queen of diamonds. 
and over to the diamonds. And I, um, all the rest are mine. So, you know, really, to be honest, sports suit forcing was a better choice there. I, I, I was a bit rash. Um, and also, I was a little bit strong just to bid three no trumps. So, uh, not good for me. If I had bid fourth suit forcing, North would have had another second go there to describe his hand better. And maybe he would have done something to show me he had extra points and I would have known to bid higher. So, um, yeah, my, my, um, I was a bit lazy, to be honest. Okay, uh, board six. Fourth suit forcing is a good, can be really helpful bid, um, just to get a bit more info there. Okay, one spade, uh, east west is vulnerable. I can't, I'd love to preempt here. I'm not playing weak jump overcalls, unfortunately. So, I, well, actually, I'm not sure what I do. I am, I'm going to bid three clubs, sort of. I hope North thinks this is a preempt or a weak jump overcall. Otherwise, we're going to get too high. Oh, okay, it's fine. Oh, awesome. Awesome. That was awesome. God, when I go back, I'm going to go back to the coffee shop tomorrow and I'm going to tell that um, coffee person that she's just the best. Wow. Not only, I mean, we're going down, we're not going to make this contract, but seven, six, you know, what could the opposition, actually, what could, uh, no, 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 I'm not so sure, because the opposition probably are going to struggle. Now, maybe the opposition can could have made five diamonds, but this might be a hand, this might not turn out so well, actually. I thought with... What have I got? Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and six. We've got only 15 points between us. So it looks like this could have been a good sacrifice. But I've got a bad feeling that the opposition with their 25 points might not have been able to make game, which wouldn't be so good. Yes. So you know, I've just got six club tricks here. Oh, look at that club suit. Look at that club suit again. This, this is incredible. This is exactly the same club sit, situation in the clubs that we had previously in the diamonds. We've got, again, we've got a nine card club fit. This is incredible. So the only bad thing that can happen in the club suit the clubs are two, two, two in each hand, doesn't matter. If one person's got three clubs and one person's got one club, it doesn't matter. But the only way we can lose a club trick is if one player has got a four card club suit. But we're still going to be okay because I can play a club over to the ace. And if West shows out, then I can finesse East for the clubs. And if East shows out, then eventually I can get back to my hand and run the 10 of clubs. So it's a little bit complicated. I've got to play over to the ace. If he shows out, I've got to get back to my hand and then play the 10 of clubs for a running finesse. Um, but I can, I'm amazing. Two exactly the same suit combinations came up one after the other. That's Amazing. Uh, okay, so I'm going to play club to the queen. Now, the reason I played it that way, it seems odd that I'd go club to the king, back to the queens, because I sort of blocked the suit. But I, there's just this faint chance, just a very small chance that one of my... Um, cards in the north hand might be set up and I'll just make sure I've got that entry there for later. Hmm. 
What was the auction? Why didn't West bid? I can't figure this out. Who's got the Ace of Spades? West has probably got it. I could, no, sort of, well, I'm not sure now. I can rough, if I rough, if the Ace of Spades fall, I can get over to the Jack. I could throw a heart, but then they're just going to take the Ace King of Hearts. I don't think East is underleading the Ace of Spades. I just can't. I just don't think so. Surely not. Surely West has got the Ace of Spades. Who's got the Ace of Spades? Somebody tell me. Somebody who's played his hand, tell me. No, don't. I'd love to know who had the Ace of Spades. It doesn't make sense that West has got it because West has got West passed over my three club, but it's just not making sense to me. Uh, well, East isn't East isn't gonna. You reckon East has got West East has got it, Sun Eel? I just can't see why East would underlead the Ace of Spades. Okay, all right, we'll try. <laughs> Sun Eel, you are a champion. East. I wasn't sure what to do there. So, Sunil, thank you. You have given me um, another trick. So my eight of spades wins, and I'm actually going to only be one down. So I assume East will play the ace now. Yep. Now I'm just going to play a heart. I'm going to have to lose two hearts. And I just play low. Unbelievable. Okay, so West, we got we got lucky. We get now we get a rough and a slough. So we get to rough this and they call it rough and a slough or rough and a discard, a rough in one hand and discard in the other. So somewhat amazingly, I end up making this contract. East and West gave me a bit of a helping hand there. <laughs> Yeah, and amazingly, it still wasn't such a good score because probably I suspect what's happened is that North and South bid game and go down, I suspect, which is why my, you'd think three clubs making would be a good score, but it's actually not such a good score. Probably they're all in game going down. Yeah, look at this. 70, look at all these players. You know, 100, we've only just started. The hands the, the hands only get dealt every day about an hour or so ago. So there's only, there's not that many players have played the hands today so far, but most of them are taking three no trumps down, which was what I was worried about. I was worried that the opposition couldn't make a game despite their 25 points, and that actually turned out to be the case. Anyway, that's fine. We still we we did it, we did okay. Right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a pass. One of Trump, and that's a pass. Um, now, just be sure. Just something here, just for you for the newer players. Um, just. Just to be aware, just a little reminder that normally if your part opens the bidding and you've got six or more points, you respond something. Six points to respond to an opening bid. But that only applies if it's a suit opening bid. So if North had opened a club or a diamond or a heart or a spade, then I definitely would have made a response here because I've got 10 points. Now, the thing is that when North does open a club or a diamond or a heart or a spade, we don't know how strong he is. He might have 12 points. He might have 19 points. He might even have 20 points. So we respond with six just in case there's enough points to go to game. But when North opens one no trump, um, we know to a very narrow range what his point count is, which is one reason why no trump opening is so good. Now, I'm playing Akol. So one of Trump is 12 to 14 for me. If you're playing standard, then it shows 15 to 17. But either way, the idea is still the same. We don't have to respond with six because we just add up our points and decide whether we've got enough to go to game. 
The north showing 12 to 14, I've got 10. So between the two hands, we've only got, so 12 to 14 plus 10 equals somewhere between 22 and 24. So not enough to go to game. Doesn't matter how strong north is, we've only got 24 points at the most. So I have to, ju I just pass. I'm happy and won no trump. Now, I can't actually bid two clubs either looking for a major because, so let's think this for, through for a second. Forget about Stamen for a second. Just imagine that I bid two no trumps, one no trump, two no trumps. That would be inviting North to go to game. And again, because I'm playing Akol, that two no trump bid for me would show around 11 or 12 points. And the message would be, I've got 11 or 12 if your maximum, so north, if you've got 13 or 14, please go to game. Now, I definitely don't want to do that because I don't have 11 or 12. I've only got 10. I'm not strong enough to bid two no trumps. Now, I've got that four card major. It's not a very good four card major, but whatever. But suppose I wanted to bid Stamen, and Stamen is the two club bid here, asking north if he's got a four card major. If I bid two clubs and North says two spades, that's fine. We find our spade fit. But if North says two hearts or two diamonds, not what I want to hear, what am I going to do? I'm stuck. The only thing I could do then is bid two no trumps. So one no trump, two clubs, two whatever, two no trumps for me. And that two no trumps would show exactly the same strength as it would had I done it directly. So one a trump, um, let me just show you just to be sure here. So one no trump from north, two no trumps from me would equal 11 or 12 points. That's auction one. And it would invite north to go to game. Now, if the bidding goes one no trump, two clubs, two diamonds, say, or two hearts, and I bid two no trumps on the second round because we don't have a spade fit, I'm still showing 11 or 12 points. And I don't have that. I can't afford to do that because I don't want North going to game. Now, where's my hand gone? So here, I just pass. Seven, eight, nine, 13. Okay, so you might be thinking, oh, rats, we had a spade fit. Yeah, but no trumps is fine. And the problem is that if I, well, I guess we could have stopped in two spades, but honest, one no trumps is fine. Uh, diamond lead. So we're going to get four diamond tricks because of that diamond lead. And I'm just going to play the ace of spades just in case somebody's got a singleton, no. So back to the diamonds, just to unblock the diamonds. And now I'm going to finesse the spade. Okay, it worked, amazing, unbelievable. My lucky day again. All right, so we can take our spades. I'm just gonna play the nine here, gotta be, because if I play the five and then the six over to the nine, I'm in the, in the south hand, and I want to be in the north hand to take that last diamond. So I'm just going to play the nine. Now I can play the six. Now I can play the, you know, I could try and set up a club trick, but I'm just going to take my diamond. So it looks like we're going to make two. Oh, we might sneak in another one. We're going to make another trick. So we make three. Okay, we made three, all right? But we certainly don't want to be in three no trumps. One no trump, actually this is a really, I'm, I'm glad this hand that came up because there's one way of thinking about this hand is, ah, oh, rats, we missed game. We're in one no trump making three. Ah, oh, rats, we should have been game. Well, no, we shouldn't. We could have easily gone down in three no trumps. We were very lucky got a diamond lead, the spade finesse work. 
So we didn't want to be in three no trumps, even though we did make three no trumps. Um, you've got to be careful about that. And look, one no trump making three, even we didn't bid game, but we still get a good score just because we made nine tricks. So you don't have to, we shouldn't be trying to bid close games tight games, games that are almost there, you don't want to be bidding those. You know, we should be, if we're in one no trump making three or two hearts making four, there's going to be a good score anyway. And it's not really such a good idea to risk. I'm just going to pass here. It's, it's not worth bidding close games. Ooh, free space. Um, this is going to be messy for East and West. Oh, it's going to be a difficult hand for them. Um, now, they've been to game and spades, and I've got all these spades. So this is going to be a hard hand. I'm a little tempted to double. What do you think? It kind of gives a show away. If I double, it'll tell the clearer where the spades are. But I'm a little bit, I'm sort of half tempted to double here. Just might be a hard. Mind you, Declare might cross rough and I might not make any spade tricks, but I don't know. What do you think? Should I double this? Let's have a vote on it. It's, to me, I think it's borderline, but I'm tempted. Shall I double or not? Ter All right, so let's. We're, we're, we've got Terence saying double. They can't run anywhere. That's true. And Jerry's saying no as you give ops information all that's those are the two those are the two points okay once again jerry no if i double it gives information away and terence is saying double because they can't run anywhere so e e all these answers are correct double or pass all of these answers they're correct there's no right or wrong here um we just take a chance either way I'm going to double Jerry, not because I think you're wrong, not because I think you're wrong, Jerry, but I'm just going with, I said we take a vote on it. So here we go. Ooh, Jerry, you might have been right. This could be awkward. Yeah, I mean, look, declare a wins. Just imagine the clearer wins, roughs the club, finesse the spades, runs the hearts. If the clearer, if West is on form, he could easily make this contract. So uh, let's see. Well, at least North, oh, oh, that's good. North didn't finesse the spades, so we might be okay. Oh, that's good. Uh, well, we win the 10 here. Got one trick, two, three, four. Uh, I can take this down almost certainly. I'm just going to, there's lots of ways I could defend this. I'm going to go the easy way. I'm going to take the king of spades. Now, I think... I think we I think North has got the King of Diamonds because of the play to the first trick. I think North has got the King of Diamonds. So I'm going to play the King of Spades. And now I'm just going to keep playing Diamonds and West, if providing North plays a diamond back. You didn't have to, my queen wins. Now when I play the Jack of Diamonds, that either wins the trick or forces West to rough. And when West roughs, that's going to make my... Okay, so now my um, Jack of Spades is good. Yeah, it's probably... Yeah. I think that's all we're going to get. So it's one down, and Declarer probably could have made this. So we will... You were sort of right, Jerry. You were sort of right. Or oh, actually, maybe... Uh, a bit awkward with the hearts not breaking. Let's have a look. 
It's slightly awkward. Yeah, a little bit, a little tricky to play because the hats don't break, the hats don't run. But um, De Clara did not do well playing the spades that way. He could have, De Clara could have easily roughed a club and finessed the spades. And so we, we got a little bit lucky there, to be honest. Uh, so Jerry, you were sort of right, but everybody else, we were sort of right as well because the contract did actually go down. Just that maybe it might not have had to go down. <laughs> actually, if you're a, a, for Skybridge Club members, remember you can, if you want to, at the end of the hand, don't do it halfway through the hand, wait till you're finished, but you can just click on one of these other seats, west, north, east, and replay the hand from a different position. That'd be a fun one to play. Um, but don't do that, just a reminder, don't do that before you finish the hand because your score won't count. You've got to finish the hand first and then replay it. Don't try replaying it halfway through because you, you, it'll mess up your score. Okay, pass one heart, pass. Now I didn't do anything there just because I had all those hearts. Oh, again, it's going to be an awkward one. Oh, I'd love it if West bid four spades now. Oh, too bad. <laughs> all right, uh, what do we got here? Ace of clubs. King of diamonds, all right. Jack of diamonds. Yeah. Well... I don't know what to do now. I sort of have a play speed. I don't know. Oh, well done, West. Oh, maybe well done, West. Now we can draw all the trumps. That's good. Poor old West. That was a bit unlucky for poor old West there. Oh, well, West had the ten of diamonds. Uh, okay, so we're going to get one heart trick at the end. King of clubs is good and the king of hearts is good, but then we're going to get that last heart. So the clearer ends up down one. Okay, fine. And let's, we got one more hand. This has gone quite well for me today. It doesn't always go so well, let me assure you. I played bridge on the weekend and played very badly. No excuses. Didn't play well at all. Played for two days, played okay on Saturday, and then I just played terrible on Sunday. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I had to get it off my chest. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 high card points. Nothing to do here. One diamond, one spade, two clubs, nothing to do there. I'm I'm married to a very pretty woman, Sunil. I'm married to the prettiest woman. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we? One diamond, one spade, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. Oh, okay, look at this. This is interesting. Look look at East Hand. East has got five diamonds and four clubs. We know it's five and four because if East had four and four, um, she would have bid no trump somewhere. So we know she's got five and four and something in spades. So East is probably something like three spades, one heart, five diamonds and four clubs. Look at that, three, one, five, four, as predicted. So again, just look at that auction, a diamond, two clubs, two spades, five diamonds, four clubs. East did not support the spades on the first time round, but then went back to spades. Yeah, 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 I, know. I, I got it. <laughs> I, met a, I met a lucky girl today. I met a girl who gave me a lot of luck. Uh, so East has East has bid that hand nicely. So West knows that East has got three spades, one heart, five diamonds, and four clubs. 
And that's it. Susan's saying, why didn't I double? Um, the thing is, Susan, that I know I've got a decent hand. What have I got there? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve high card points. So I've got twelve points, but my shape's terrible for a double. If I double, I'm asking North to bid. Yes, I'm showing points, but I'm also asking North to bid something. And I don't really want North to bid anything because my hands, I know I've got some support for all the unbid suits, but my hands very balanced. Um, it's not a good 12 points because it's so balanced. And I've got all that length and diamonds. So if I double, it's normally length in the other suits and shorten diamonds plus points. So the double's not just about points. It's also showing that I really want North to bid. Um, and I just don't want North to bid on this hand. Uh, yep, ops also have a double fit. So, you know, East and West could easily have missed a game here. That East hand is pretty good. Uh, spade to the nine, Jack. Yeah, let me just play six here. Yeah. The only thing, of course, is that the diamonds don't break. So, what did North have? Uh -oh. What did West have? I've got to think for a second here. West had five spades, four diamonds, I think two hearts and two clubs. So, I can afford to duck this. I think East West has got another club left. Yep. King. Uh, Let's play a heart. Another club. Another heart. And we're going to make two. Another club. What was the option? Did I miss something there? Oh, I missed, I missed defended. I missed defended that. Um, that was bad. That was bad. That was a bad mistake by me. Ah, what am I talking about? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I I thought West had four diamonds, but so I missed. That was just bad. I really messed that hand up, but I should have cashed my diamond not because I let. Oh, actually, no, it made no difference. It. May, no, sorry, it made no difference. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Forget that. It made no difference what I did. I can't cash my diamonds because um, uh, West would have wrapped the diamond and played the clubs anyway. So, um, uh, no, it made, made no difference what I did. Okay, good one. Thank you, everybody. That was fun. Um, we were, we got lucky. Number 15, a lucky number. I will see you all uh, next week, if not before. Enjoy your bridge wherever you play. Enjoy your bridge. That's all I can say. Good night.